Hi, my name is Melanie Morales, and I have been working with eBuilder as a program management specialist for a little over a year now. I currently enter the timesheets for PNC employees and will be showing you how to enter your own into the system. I hope you are all familiar with eBuilder project management system, and if you are not, please watch the first video in this PNC eBuilder training channel called eBuilder Login before you proceed. Now that we all have a basic working knowledge of eBuilder, we will learn how to use the new time tracking module that can be found in eBuilder. This course will cover all that you need to know to 1. Get into the time tracking module, 2. Fill out, submit, edit, and delete a timesheet, and 3. How to track your submitted timesheets. This video was made just for viewers like you who are trying to learn the ins and outs of the eBuilder project management system. Let's begin by opening your internet browser and going to eBuilder by entering app.e-builder.net in the address bar and you will be directed to the member login screen. Enter your eBuilder login information and you will be directed to the eBuilder home screen. At the top of the screen, you will see different tabs such as dashboard, projects, etc. If you do not see the time tracking tab, you will need to add it to your tabs. Click the plus sign at the end of the tabs and a drop down of all your tabs will show up. Check the time tracking tab and click save. Now you will see the time tracking tab whenever you sign in. Now that we have time tracking enabled, click the time tracking tab and wait for the page to load. The page will say timesheets at the top. Now we will go over how to create a new timesheet. If you have not used the time tracking module before, there will be a box labeled filter and a red row with the titles timesheet dates, total hours, and status in white. In order to create a new time entry, click the Add Time tab. You will see the current week dates as well as an empty project and activity field. If you are trying to enter time for a previous week or month, click the little calendar picture on the right side next to the blue Today and select the appropriate week. Once you have selected the appropriate week for new time entry, your screen should look like this. To charge non-project hours, which are not specific to any project, such as administrative tasks, training and development tasks, TWI, Thriving Work Initiative, and leave hours, please add a new row by selecting the plus add row button at the top and repeat it three more times for a total of four rows. In order to add projects to your timesheet, click on Please Select a Project link and select 00 Operations from the list. You will notice that the drop-down list contains projects that you are a member of on eBuilder as well which we are going to talk about in a few minutes. Please go ahead and set the 00 Operations Project Field Options for the other three rows. Click on Please Select an Activity under Activity Field for the non-project hours you are adding time to, and you will notice a drop-down list of activity options including Administrative Tasks, Training and Development Tasks, TWI, Thriving Work Initiative, and Leave PHR. Administrative Tasks Activity option is used when charging time to administrative tasks. Training and Development Tasks Activity option is used when charging time to internal and external training. TWI, Thriving Work Initiative, 
is used when allocating time to thriving workplace initiative. Leave PHR is used when charging time to PHR leave categories. Remember to make sure that each row has the 00, zero operations project field selected in order to charge these hours correctly. Once you are done adding the activity fields to these four rows, your rows should look like this. In the new time tracking module, Users will have to enter leave hours into their timesheets. This is a change from PMIS TAS. In order to save these rows for future timesheets, click the pin icon on the right of the project rows. Once clicked, the pin will turn green to show that the project information has been successfully pinned and you will notice that the project inactivity field become locked for editing. If you would like to edit project or activity fields on a pinned row, simply remove the pin and adjust accordingly. There is also an X icon that will allow you to delete a project row if you no longer want to see that project or simply made a mistake. The Save or Submit buttons will not be available for a blank timesheet with zero hours. Now you are going to add your other projects. We will begin with the Project field. Add a new row by selecting the Plus Add Row button at the top. In order to add projects to your timesheet, select Please select a project, link under project. You will notice that you are only able to select projects that you are assigned to in eBuilder. If you need to charge hours against a project which is not showing up on your list, please contact your supervisor or project controls for assistance. Select the desired project and move on to the activity field and you will notice a drop-down list of activity options. If you are familiar with the PMER process, then these four activity fields should look familiar. The Activity Phase is a new field for time entry. Users will now have the ability to enter PMER hourly effort through the use of the Activity Field option. PMER phases are important because these PMER phases will break down the projected budget for a project into four phases. The four PMER phases, including Planning PMER, Design and Construction Bidding PMER, Construction PMER, and Construction Closeout PMER are represented by the four Activity PMER field options in the new Time Tracking module. The Planning PMER option is used when charging time to a project during the planning phase. Projects that are in the Design Pending phase order will also use the Planning PMER option. The next option is strictly for Design Services staff only. If you are a member of Design Services, it is important that you must always select the Schematic Design Activity option if the project that you are charging is in SD phase. If you are charging hours against a project in SD phase without selecting the Schematic Design Activity option, your timesheet will be returned to you for correction. To learn more, please contact your supervisor for more information. The Design Construction Bidding PMER Activity option is used when charging time to a project during Design Construction Bidding Phase. Construction PMER is used when charging time to a project during Construction Phase. Construction Closeout PMER option 
is used when charging time to a project during construction closeout. Projects that are in construction substantial completion, construction complete, or project complete phase order will also use construction closeout PMER activity option. Consult with your supervisor if you are not sure about the correct activity field to choose. You can now fill out your timesheet for the week. In order to save these rows for future timesheets, click the pin icon on the right of the project rows. The pin will turn green once clicked to show that the project information has been successfully pinned and you will notice that the project and activity fields become locked for editing. Repeat the same steps to add more rows for the other projects. Remember, users cannot save or submit a blank timesheet. How do I add time to my timesheet? Easy. You can enter hours in the regular hours to minutes format. Let me explain with an example. Imagine you are entering 4 hours and 30 minutes for a specific project. You will enter 4 colon 30 as you would see on a clock. In eBuilder time tracking module, please round up your hour time entries in half an hour increments, 00, zero minutes and or 30 minutes. Did you get that? Only enter time in 00, zero or 30 minute increments. You will receive an error message if you try to submit a timesheet without selecting a project and activity field for each line. If you receive an error message and are not able to adjust any of the fields for a specific project row, delete the entire project row using the X icon and re-add the project row again with the correct information. What if I want to add a comment? How do I do that? There are two different ways to add a comment in the new time tracking module. The first way involves the little notepad icon that pops up when you input time into a project row. This option allows you to provide supervisors feedback on a certain project time entry. The second form of commenting is only available once you submit your timesheet for approval. This method is best when providing supervisors feedback on your timesheet as a whole. Congratulations! You have successfully entered your first timesheet in the new eBuilder time tracking module. But wait, what if I made a mistake? How do I know if my supervisor rejected my timesheet or if I need to adjust previous timesheet hours? Have no fear. All these questions can be answered by going to the main timesheets module screen and using the filter box where you can search by status of timesheet, and or dates of timesheets in question. You can even search by open or finished timesheet status. All you need to do is go back to the timesheets module home screen and click for the status filter drop down box where you will see different status options to search. The In Your Court status filter allows you to search for timesheets that are waiting for you to revise. The All status filter allows you to see all of your timesheets in general. The Draft status filter allows you to see the timesheets that you have started and saved but have not submitted yet. The Submitted Status Filter allows you to see whatever timesheets you have submitted that are in your supervisor's court. The Approved Status Filter allows you to see the timesheets that have been approved by your supervisor. The Rejected Status Filter 
allows you to see the timesheets that your supervisor has sent back to you for revision and resubmission. The void status filter does not apply to users as it is only used if timesheet is inapplicable. Once you are done filling out the filter criteria, you click filter at the bottom of the box to search for your filtered timesheets or click the clear option if you would like to start your query over again. Okay, cool. But let's say my supervisor rejects my timesheet. How do I go about resubmitting it? No problem. All you need to do is select the rejected status filter option in the status drop down box and check off the open box to the right to find the timesheets in question. There are a variety of reasons why a timesheet is sent back to the user. One reason might be that the PMER is blocked for a certain project that the user is currently on, and that block can be caused by a project negotiation, funding, or a planning issue resulting in the project being put on hold. Timesheets may also be sent back to the user due to supervisor or project control feedback where they ask for clarification and or revision. Another reason may be that the project you are trying to charge hours to is in the SD phase. If you are a part of the design services team and you are charging hours against a project in SD phase without selecting the schematic design activity option, your timesheet will be returned to you once submitted for correction. So if you are design services, please make sure that you always select the schematic design activity option if the project that you are charging is in SD phase. To see if your project is in SD phase, please contact your supervisor for more information. Again, this only applies to the design services team members. To learn more, please contact your supervisor for more information. Once you find the appropriate timesheet that needs revision, you can edit your hours accordingly. Once done, click Resubmit and then the Take Action button to resubmit your timesheet. Using the filter box on the main Timesheets module screen, you can keep track of your timesheets and stay up to date with submitted timesheets.